As our student body president and senior class president, Kenley Joy leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. Immediately following her invocation, seniors Alexis Knox and Christian Garrett will lead us in our national anthem. Will you please stand and face the flags? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. If you please remain standing for a prayer. Dear Lord, I come to you this evening to say thank you for allowing everyone to get here safely and please be with those that not, who cannot be here as well. I ask that as this night goes on and we celebrate this journey that is finally coming to an end, you give everyone the strength to see that in the midst of all this chaos, you are good and great things come to those that have faith in you. Again, I just want to say thank you for being such an amazing God and let this be the night we all remember for years to come. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming Whose bright stripes and bright stars each of you to tonight's commit commencement. This is a very special night for parents, grandparents, friends, and especially our 223 graduating seniors. Before I continue, I would like to introduce our platform guests. As I call their names, I would ask them to remain standing until all have been introduced. So please hold your applause until I have completed announcing all names. Representing our Board of Trustees over here to my right, my president tonight is our Vice President, Mrs. Julie Harris. Mrs. Maria Padilla, and Mr. Chad Wash. Representing the Board of Trustees on the stage is our President, Mr. Fabian Serrano. Secretary, Mrs. Melissa Miller. Mr. Manny Chidera, and Mr. Thomas Alagi Jr. Let's give them a round of applause. Representing our central office is our superintendent, Mr. Dave McWilliams. Assistant superintendent, Mr. George Bancroft. And assistant superintendent, Dr. Randy Thompson. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Representing Big Spring High School. Associate principal, Mr. Tim Tannehill. We are working with our graduates. Assistant principal, this is Elisa Bancroft, who will be calling this evening. And Assistant Principal, Mr. Bert Otto, who will be helping our parents this evening. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Seniors, this is for you and parents. There's another special group that I would like to recognize tonight. Many of them are here working to make this event very special just for you. Others are not present. 
respect and social distancing as we suggested. Otherwise, this group in its entirety would be sitting directly behind you. Over the last four years, this team has guided you, they have encouraged you, they have challenged you, they have given a small piece of their hearts to you. Tonight, somewhere, they are sharing the joy and celebrating with you this special time in your lives. Seniors and audience, I proudly recognize your past elementary teachers, and if you're an elementary teacher here this evening, would you please stand? Round of applause, please, for all your elementary teachers, grades K through six. Thank you, elementary teachers. And now your seventh and eighth grade teachers, if you're here this evening, would you please stand? Your junior high teachers, round of applause. And certainly your high school teachers, the great school, the great high school faculty and staff. So seniors, now it's time for you to stand along with me and show your appreciation to those throughout the years that you call your teachers. Stand your ovation, please, seniors. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, our Big Spring High School Senior Class President, Kenley Joy, will now address her senior class. And she will be followed by the 2020 Big Spring High School Salutatorian, Corey Rogers. Kenley? Howdy, my fellow classmates and friends. It's an honor to speak to all of you today. I would like to start off by thanking my parents and teachers for instilling me with essentials I need to be successful in life. It has been an honor being president of the class of 2020 for four years. High school has been a crazy ride. Just think about all that has brought us here. All the late nights studying, early morning practices, first and last pep rallies, never ending weekends with friends, and a virus that made our high school journey in sooner than we expected. Yet here we all stand, four years later, about to take the jump into the next chapter of our lives. Our journey as a class has been a crazy one, but if anything is true, it is that we are the class that has overcame many obstacles in life. And we are still here today proving that in the midst of devastation and sadness, there is a reason to celebrate and be happy. Life will always throw us curveballs and make us feel like there is no reason to continue. But with every curveball life throws, there will always be one that stays in the zone. And with that one, we have to go with it and know that there is always something worth fighting for. I would like to share a tweet my cousin Brady retweeted the day before he passed away. Those who died yesterday had plans for this morning, and those who died this morning had plans for tonight. Don't take life for granted. In a blink of an eye, everything can change. So forgive often and love with all your heart. You may never get that chance again. Life is a beautiful thing that we are given to make our own. We have the chance to do good, make people smile, and ultimately make the most of every day we have to live. Here we are 13 years from when we started this epic journey in kindergarten of creating who we want to be. And now in our last year, we are able to step into this next chapter of our lives. With this opportunity, we have to take it and run with it because we may never get another one like it. If I've learned anything from losing my cousin, it'd be that life is short and you never know when it'll be your last time to make memories. We all wake up every morning with the intentions of doing something great, but some people do not get that chance. So with these opportunities, be great, do it. Live each day to the fullest, and most importantly, wherever you go in life, be the best you, because when our time comes, people should remember us as the person who never took a single moment in life for granted. As hard as it is ending this chapter of our lives and saying goodbye to everyone we have known, there is a whole world out there waiting for us. And like Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So dream on and make the most of your life because we are all meant for something great. We just have to believe that there is always joy in the journey. Thank you. Welcome all to the graduation of the Big Spring High School class of 2020. Before I begin, I want to take this moment to thank God for keeping us safe and allowing us to gather here for this occasion. I would like to give a huge thank you to our families who have supported and loved us along the way. Thank you as well to all of the teachers throughout the years who gave us the knowledge that we needed to get here tonight. 
A special thank you is owed to our superintendent, Jane McWilliams, and Mike Ritchie, our principal. While other schools have virtual graduations or canceled graduation entirely, these gentlemen never faltered in the promise that we would receive the best graduation that coronavirus restrictions would allow. Throughout this crisis, they continuously provided words of encouragement and that if possible, we would walk across the stage to receive our diplomas. So, guests and fellow classmates, please, let's give Mr. McWilliams and Mr. Ritchie a big round of applause for making this special night possible. Over a decade ago, we, the class of 2020, began this journey. When we first stepped into a classroom back in kindergarten, we didn't know what to expect. We found ourselves in new surroundings with unfamiliar faces. Eventually, we became accustomed to these things and set forward on the path of knowledge and obtaining life skills. Throughout the years, we learned the value of hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Fast forward to this school year, our senior year. It began like any other year in the life of a high school senior. We attended Friday night football games, pep rallies, and the homecoming parade. We hung out with friends and looked forward to what our senior year would bring. Life was pretty good. Just as the first part of the year went by in the blink of an eye, before we knew it, spring break had arrived. Little did we know that we would not be returning to school after the break. Instead, we'd have to adjust to a new normal, learn from our homes, and decide what kind of students we would be. This is where those life lessons I mentioned earlier come in. We showed that we are hard workers and that we ensured that our school work was completed despite the challenges of having to adjust to a new way of learning. We showed dedication by continuing to work toward the goal of graduating in spite of the stress of dealing with the global pandemic. With the disappointing cancellation of so many school activities, we proved that we can persevere even when things get tough. With the same perseverance, we will overcome the challenges caused by the coronavirus as well as any obstacles that will try to get in the way of us accomplishing our goals. With the virus having made its way into our own town, one would think that having a ceremony would not be possible. Yet here we are, on the night of our graduation, sitting amongst each other one last time as we should be on this momentous occasion. In a few minutes, we will receive our diplomas, and from that point on, we embark on the rest of our lives. As Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. So, I challenge each of you to go out into the world and contribute to the betterment of society. I want to wish each and every one of you the best of luck in your endeavors, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> Seniors, 11 years ago, 1979, Big Spring High School graduate. And incidentally, I want to tell you that in 1979, that was the first senior class that graduated over here to our west in the Coliseum. The class of 1978, they claim, their claim to fame is they're the last class that graduated on grass here at Memorial Stadium. But hey, guess what? Class of 2020, we're back. We're back under the lights, full moon. We're gonna enjoy this one. And you'll remember it as well. So 11 years ago, this 1979 grad, his name, he was a two-star general, Kevin McLaughlin. He addressed our student body 11 years ago in the auditorium. General McLaughlin, and can you believe that? Big Spring High School graduate, two-star general. Don't tell me things can't happen in your life for the good. He inspired us all by commemorating heroes that have fallen, veterans who have served, and those currently on active duty. Since that year, 2009, Big Spring High School has recognized seniors enlisting in the armed forces. Tonight, we would like to again recognize seniors who have enlisted in the military service. Students, when I call your name, please stand and be recognized. Audience, again, please hold your applause until all of these seniors enlisting into our military are called. Enlisting in the Army, Alexis Lopez. Dylan Guzman. Hugo Santa Cruz Garcia. Brent Bills. We'll have a special moment for Brent Bills in a moment. Colton Russell. Enlisting into the Navy, 
William Laird, and into the Marines, Destiny Kunkel, Thomas Provodich, and Christian Ortega. Let's give them a round of applause. If not, a standing ovation for sacrificing their lives to go and defend our nation and our freedom. Congratulations, seniors. We're proud of you. Never forget where you come from. Thank you. Also at this time, we'd like to recognize Pittsburgh High School's top 10%. And then we're going to get to a special recognition and a contest on who won the $100 bill in the car decorating contest. This will come after the top 10%. So when I call your name, please stand. Again, audience, if you'll hold your applause until all have been announced. Top 10% graduating class of 2020. Marissa Aguilar. Jersey Andre. Callie Baker. Brianna Bustamante. Kimberly Chapel. Amaya Cobos. Corey Cotton. Madison Daniels. I'll tell you what, we're a little bit too informal. I kind of like the little crowd support right there. So when I call your, your family member's name, let them hear you. I think that's awesome. As a matter of fact, let's start over. Uh, I think we just, you just didn't know. All of these seniors deserve this, I'm telling you. So, all right, let's hear it for Mar Marissa Aguilar. Where are you found her? There you go. Jersey Andre. Allie Baker, Brianna Bustamante, Kimberly Chapel, Amaya Cobos, Corey Cotton, Madison Daniels, Sarah Hodges, Kenley Joy, Madison Perkendall. Andrea Melendez, Casey Melendez, Christian Roberts, Kenzie Rodriguez, Corey Rogers, Marissa Salazar, Mark Sanchez, Anthony Samianto, Kimla Tebow. Jaden Torres, Taylor Trevino, Edward Urias, and Bianca Villalobos. Ladies and gentlemen, your Big Spring High School 2020 Top 10%. Congratulations, students. Well done. And about a bill right here. When I call your name, you can come up and get your hundred dollar bill. This is the winner of our car contest, car, car, car contest decoration. Thanks to our journalism director, Mr. Allie Morris, has donated this one hundred dollar bill to our winner. Congratulations, Allison Flores. If you come up, receive your hundred dollar bill. And I will say this, I was out there for about 45 minutes. There were a lot of good decorated cars. So guests, families, parents, well done, well done. Thank you for showing the spirit that you have for your graduates. And wasn't that fun? I'll tell you, that was a fun part of this evening. So thank you for participating. Okay, at this time, we're ready to hear from our valedictorian, Mr. Anthony Sarmiento, as he addresses his senior class. Good evening, friends, family, and faculty. I would like to welcome you to our graduation ceremony. Thank you for sticking with us and learning the unique process it took for us to be here. It would not be possible without the amazing diligence of our hardworking staff and everyone involved. I would like to start off by saying how much I love the way nature correlates to human life. For example, mesquite trees nurse a girl cacti to protect them from the threats they face in a harsh desert. 
I didn't like how our parents kept us from entering credit card information when that free new iPhone. What about the way different life cycles of a butterfly can be compared to our path throughout elementary, junior high, and high school? Now I would love to discuss our journeys to such a special conclusion or how this is the next step to building careers and families for a sustainable future. But the main thing I'd like to talk about while I have this stage is ants. Ant colonies are a lot like human civilization. There are ants with different functions within their nests. Some forage, some build, some protect, and the list goes on. They have colonized just about everywhere in the world, protect their homes, and even communicate using sounds. These colonies are sometimes referred to as anonymous societies, and what that means is they are like they're social like us. Anonymous comes into play because it, because not all ants know each other. Pretty much all of these colonies are too big for every ant to be familiar with one another, so the way they socialize is something called an identity cue. In a nutshell, these cues are a scent that determine whether or not they belong in a nest. If the scent is foreign, it often results in the death of a particular ant. Now I know what you're thinking. How could something as silly as a scent result in the death of an innocent foreign ant? Why would that even be a determining factor in the quality of that ant's life? It seems a little barbaric to me. When I said earlier that I love how nature correlates to human life, I didn't say it was a direct comparison or 100% accurate. Luckily, we have the same characteristics that separate us from animals. Special cognitive abilities to perform linguistics, plan, and most importantly, logicize. The inequality, I'm sorry. Fortunately, we can use these tools, these tools to have a better functioning society. With normal logic and reasoning, it is easy to say that an ant getting killed for not having the correct scent would be inhumane. The inequality is prevalent within the ant society. They tackle each other with prejudice and eagerness. They forget that those ants probably share a common interest, bettering their lives. Who knows, maybe the ants know they have a common interest, but they don't care. It is hard to explain a phenomenon that is unique to low-developed minds of animals. Maybe one day we can explain to ants that the foreign ant could be a service, and they need to look beyond something as simple as a smell to determine the quality of a life. We can keep using our one-of-a-kind logic and reasoning to reach a breakthrough within the hard society of ants. To close, I would again like to thank everyone here and those who are tuning into the live stream. This has been an experience that we will not soon forget. Thank you and God bless. Well, our speakers are making their way to their seats before we certify our graduates and then have our presentations of diplomas. I'd like to take this time to offer special thanks. We had an amazing evening last night. I can't tell you the amount of money, but it was in the thousands of dollars that these parents have worked, not just for the last week or for the last month. This has been a four-year journey for these parents, and, and we, we want to give them special thanks, because that was an amazing night last night. Seniors, if you agree, let's go. Let's give a round of applause if you enjoyed the senior sunset. Thousands of dollars of Prizes and gift cards were given away, lots of TVs, lots of home books, and I, I went to sleep with this. The cooter, the flash shot, and the $50 gift card. Must have been hundreds of those. So when I call your name, parents, would you please stand up and be recognized? Gwen and Mike Dominguez. Honey and Jeremy Joy. Yvette and Blue Cotton. Kim and Jesse Rios. Carrie and Danny Whitehead. Martha and Louis Salazar. Rosie Slate. Marta Matthews. Tanika Crawley. Jennifer Cobos. Round of applause, please. Awesome job. Great four years. Thank you for your commitment to these kids. Without you, none of this would be possible. Also, special thanks to Mr. Bruce Scooter, who piloted our drone last night, our instructional videos to make this happen. Mr. Alan Morris, if he'll wave his arms, thank him. And his sidekick, Rocky, where are you? The easy to understand version of the video. That guy, KBST. Mike and Sheila Abbasad, Melinda Flanagan, and Mark Richardson for the broadcast of this, and live Facebook. 
Mr. Dave McWilliams, our color commentator. Let's not forget about him. Iron College, Calvin Belvin for helping us set up over 600 chairs. Our maintenance director, John Sparks, and his crew for getting our stadium ready. And what a beautiful stadium it is. The sponsors of this class, Ms. Portia Bryant, and Coach Dunn, and Coach Bryant, and our BSHS staff. Those that work the park, the lining the procession, what an amazing job you did. And our stadium workers, what an amazing job you did. With all of you, this night is special for this class of 2020, so I wanted to recognize those special groups. And sometimes when you start down the list, you leave someone off, and if I did, I apologize. So at this time, the moment that we've been waiting for, Mr. McWilliams, our superintendent of school, Big Spring Board of Trustees, parents and friends, the senior class of 2020 has fulfilled all coursework required by the State Board of Education, Texas Education Agency, and our local school board. As principal, it is an honor to have the privilege of recommending to you, Mr. McWilliams, the conferrals of their high school diplomas. Mr. McWilliams. Welcome to the class of 2020. Welcome to all the parents, the relatives that have made the trip to Big Spring. I want to echo uh, what Mr. Ritchie has already said, but what a great night, what a great parade. Um, a lot of people said this could not happen. Right? I appreciate Corey's speech and talking about uh, the never say die attitude. And I tell you what, it's also from everybody sitting out here in the class of 2020. You guys kept believing as well. So with that said, as the superintendent of school for Big Spring ISD, I accept Mr. Ritchie's recommendation, and I'm here to certify all of you as graduates of Big Spring High School. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, our first senior walking tonight is represented by his mother. Uh, senior Brent Mills was not able to present, uh, be present tonight because last week he was scheduled to report to the U.S. Army boot camp. Tonight, his mother, Jasmine Bill, will walk in great place. Mr. Brent Bill. Kinley, Avery, Joy. Corey, Roger. Anthony, Jacob, Sarmiento. Evan, Jacob, Adelsberger. Keep on walking, yes, you will. I'll get you. Marissa Elena Aguilar. Anthony Adam Amaro. Joshua Chase Anderson. Jersey Brienne Andre. Colby Reese Armstrong. Frederick Lamont Osby. Sonny Baeza Jr. Esmeralda Corral Bahena. Kelly Kate Baker. Selena Louise Baldwin. Timothy Alexander Bates. Elizabeth Renee Beach. Yeah. 
Marissa Nicole Bozeman. Makaria Melba Browning. Emily Grace Bunny. Brianna Michelle Bustamante. Alyssa Ray Bird. Joshua Drake Caldwell. Marcus Anthony Khan. Alexandria Renee Kantu. Abigail Janelle Carrillo. Christopher Larry Carrillo. Alexia Michelle Carson. Alexis Marie Carson. Andrew Dave Kate. Manuel Cristian Cervantes Cruz. Sebastian Elijah Cervantes. Amy Arali Chavez. Caitlin Lynn Joyce Cortez. Kimberly Joanne Chapel. Celeste Mia Chavez. Oscar Alexander Chavez. <laughs> Mariah Justine Chavaria. <laughs> Dusty Chavez. <laughs> Amaya Daniel Pomos. <laughs> Gabriel Collazo. Jeremiah <laughs> Reed Nieto Collins. Yes, sir. <laughs> Christopher James David Conley. Corey Ryan Cotton. <laughs> Brayden Jeffrey Bruce. <laughs> Damien Ray Damien Shanea Davis. Augustine De Los Santos. Cindy De La Cruz. Gabriela 
Luis Delgado. Anastasia Marie Diaz. Ernesto Cristian Bryce Diaz. Raven B. Allen Diaz. My boy! Yeah, all in the front you can. In fact, that's what. Hey, Sophia Lee Dominguez. Hey, Are we breaking down or what? This broke down after three. Come on, man. Let's I'm trying. <laughs> Christopher Flint Enriquez Jr. Yeah. 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 Christiana Alexis Esparza. Raylan Simon Esparza. You can all come up and take pictures up in the front and say walk across. Robbie Bertina Evans. Allison Grace Flores. Christian Stephen Garrett. Hey, don't forget about Kenny K. Yes, 
take pictures as they walk across. Danny Lee Hernandez. So, Going to take the time. Hey. Ilana Lien Hernandez. <laughs> Damien Cruz Beauty. <laughs> Sarah Nicole Hodges. Oh, man. Good hard work. Thomas Antonio Horvatich. <laughs> Haiti Ann Humphreys. Pedro Andres Izaguirre. Octavia Kamika Johnson. Okay, okay. Good catch. Congratulations. Tatiana Yasmin Johnson. <laughs> Alexis Marie Knox. Hey, I'm telling you. Malachi Aaron Friesen. My boy Mauricio! Mauricio! My boy! Destiny Elise Ponto. Madison Michael Kirkendall. Fidelze La Franco. Alexandria Adela Leos. Sammy Limon. Megan Paige Lloyd. <laughs> Alex Kevin Lopez. Alexis Renee Lopez. Bianca Marie Luna. Aaron Miguel Magallanes. Aaron Margarito Magallanes. Jared Alexander Montes. Mr. Malls, go it this way. This way. Cruz Martiarena. Go it this way. Amber Celine Martinez. Brandon Robert Martinez.
Casey Melendez. Kayla Marie Milgram. Casey. Marcus Anthony Miramontes. Butch Albert Montemayor. Adrian Mark Anthony Moore. Nathan Aaron Morales. Linda Moreno. Dylan Logan Mullins. Leon James Michael Dylan Munoz. Yeah. <laughs> 
Daniel Neil Roberts. <laughs> Zachary Michael Roberts.
Jared Brian Thoris. Acronym. I want you to 
think about this one more time as I tell you. When I repeat it here in a minute, I want you to state it and I want you to shout it out loud. The bowl, the B is the bowl. Not as doing out to do crazy things like jumping off bills and you know, drag racing in those loud muffler Mustangs on Greg Street. Yeah. I, I hear you. I hear you out there. Hey, here's the bowl I'm talking to you about. The bowl of not being afraid of failure. We're under lights tonight because of a man that failed 1,000 times. But that 1,000 first time, Thomas Edison got it right. And we're under lights tonight because he didn't quit. And if we ever have another professional like we did tonight, we're going to get it right because we're not going to quit. Because we're going to be bold. I want you to be bold throughout life. You're going to get knocked down. You're going to get pushed around. But remember, follow your dreams and never give up sight of what you want to become. Let those, you define the situation, don't let the situation define you. Seniors, when I say B, you shout out bold. B. And the S for spirited. Not the kind of raw, raw spirit that sometimes we get. And a little bit of that is fine. And it's fun. Like pep rally, senior pep rally especially. Like tonight at the parade. But that's only for a moment. But here's what's for a lifetime with your spirit that I'm talking about. When you step into a room, light up that room with your attitude. You look at life with a glass half full. Don't be that person that looks at it half empty. Inspire people. Make others around you in whatever career you choose, in whatever organization, and make them better people because you have the spirit in you. Spirit. Yes. Spirit. There you go. And the H, honorable. The world is screaming for people that are honest and have integrity. As you walk off this field for the last time as a class of 2020, if you'll remember that, to be bold, to be spirited, and to have honor and integrity about you, people are going to notice you. People are going to want you a part of that organization as you build that organization because of your honesty and become a leader in that. I have a favorite book. It's called the Bible. And in Matthew it says, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Let that sink in. Be honest. Have it taken. H. Honorable. H. Honorable. There you go. And the last one, B-S-H-S. Success. When you get the first three right, life is going to bring you successes. Maybe not the first try, second try, maybe a thousand tries. But if you'll have your focus, keep your focus, keep your eye on your dreams, life is going to bring you successes. S. Seniors, at this time, take your tassels. Move them from the right side to the left side, signifying that you are a high school graduate. Congratulations. We all should have a role. All connected for the last time. Again, that's sad, but it's reality. But together as a class of 2020, we're going to sing our school song as soon as our choir, choir to choir singers. Alexis, Christian, where are you? Get your ropes. Get your ropes. All right, parents, audience, one of their graduation requirements was to know our school song. And you're going to hear it from them because we're going to sing it a cappella. Our senior choir members are going to get us started, and then they're going to step away from the mic, join the cheerleaders, and we're going to sing it the last time. Proud and proud. At the conclusion of this, we're going to dismiss you like you came in, one row at a time. When you get to the 20 yard line on the other end, you're going to get to toss your hat as high as you can toss it on your way out with your pants.
from your special guests. Okay, choir members.
Through years to come, dear old big spring.